while I was interceding for Kenya during the course of this week, the Spirit of God spoke to me. He said, he said we must pray against the spirit of betrayal and intrigue at the highest mountain in Kenya. God says to those who rule over Kenya, when he makes you a Moses, just like your father was a Moses in your nation, he has given you a Joshua. He is the one who caused your Joshua to stand by you through thick and thin, through your trials. God says do not betray your Joshua after he has helped you to secure your seat of power for all these years. God says it is this Joshua that is the grace from him to continue from where you are going to live. To continue what you started together with your Joshua several years ago and then God said I must read Matthew chapter 19 verse 23 it says then Jesus said to his disciples assuredly I say to you that it is hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven and again I say to you it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. When his disciples heard it, they were greatly astonished, saying, who then can be saved? Ask you that question. Who then can be saved? 26. But Jesus looked at them and said to them, with men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Then Peter answered and said to him, I want us to take note of verse 27 and verse 28. Then Peter answered and said to him, See, we have left all and followed you. Therefore, what shall we have? Let us read the words of Peter. See, let us all do the same thing. See, we have left all and followed you. Therefore, what shall we have? And then Jesus Christ answered, I want you to listen to the answer of Jesus Christ because it's related to this prophecy. So Jesus said to them, Assuredly, I say to you, that in the regeneration, when the Son of Man sits on the throne of his glory, you who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tri tribes of Israel. So according to the principles of the kingdom, if someone is following you in fulfilling your purpose, God expects you to reward them. Because it's, it's God who gave Jesus Christ to the apostles. Those people, they were doing other jobs. They had their own jobs which they were doing. They abandoned their jobs to follow the job of Jesus. And so when Jesus Christ was nearing the end of his ministry, before his ministry actually ended, he promised them that since they had left all to follow him, when he sat in the throne of his glory, they were going to also sit on 12 thrones to judge the 12 tribes of what? Of Israel. So it's a kingdom principle. So if someone, I think we saw it in Zimbabwe, if someone has walked with you step by step and to try to betray him at the last minute, you are causing trouble for yourself and your leakers. Hallelujah. This is the advice that I'm giving to the leaders there in Kenya. I'm not a Kenyan myself. I, I'm of Zulu origin in terms of tribal affiliation. But in terms of my spiritual fundamental origin, I'm a Christian. I am completely tribeless in terms of my new life in Christ. Let me continue the message. This is the will of God. God wants to use a prominent son of that nation whose name is Bill and the initial of the other name is R. Will those who make decisions choose what God has chosen? Will Kenya choose what God sees as the best for them or they will choose to be in the permissive will? Let us stand up and pray for these two nations. Father, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, living spirit, that you are a good God, that you are a gracious God.
Zombrende Kazuna Keste Minostro Komor Zametruskendo Kirimasana Atumusita Kibosoto Mokoshi 